Hey YouTube, I'm back, and I'm back at my secret location. Uh, I promised to reveal to some local guys where this is at, but I want to hit it at least one more time before I do. A little selfish. You know, we all have our spots, I guess. Uh, and I'm sure you all guys all know this feeling. I get in my car, it's 9 a.m., perfectly sunny out, and this location's maybe five minutes away from my house, and by the time I get here, it's pouring rain. Of course, of course it is. Now this is like really deep woods, so I'm not too concerned about the rain getting down there, but uh, it's probably gonna end soon, and that means it's gonna be really muggy, and there's gonna be a ton of mosquitoes, and I'm not too happy about that. But you know what? We'll see if I can find anything today. I'm feeling pretty lucky. I've got my Equinox tuned up. I got a whole new profile. I've been messing around with it. Um, I think I finally got the hang of, you know, what all the different target tones mean. I can pretty much spot a penny before I dig it, nickel, dime, all that. Um, but this time I want to actually look for some jewelry because last time I was here I found, I don't know if you remember that, little cross um, and some other really, really weird stuff. And so I've got the um, segment between 8 and 17 turned up really high, really loud, really loud tone. Um, I bump down the mids a little bit, and then once it gets up to the 30s, I turn that way up high for silver, obviously. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. If it doesn't work out, I'll, I'll switch back to factory, but um, there's just a lot of land to cover here, and I have a feeling I'm gonna be here for at least three or four hours trying to find some stuff. Wish me luck, here we go. All right, the humidity is real. I am sweating like a pig. <laughs> uh, this is about my third hole that I've dug already it looks like this is a solid eight by the way i've got a shotgun shell head and there we go it's got to be pretty old because we're uh we're right downtown here so i'll clean that up when i get home but i'm expecting that's probably late 1800s early 1900s pretty cool Okay, I found that Peter's shell right about there. Very next hole, just right by this tree. Got another one. And this one is not a Peter's. Uh, expert. Western Expert, number 16. There you go. Number two. Okay, we got something here. This is an old animal hole. <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of animal it was. It wasn't that big. I mean, the hole is maybe about that big, so who knows? But yeah, I started uh, started digging. I was coming up, uh, I don't know, 11 or 13. I don't know if you can see what I see, but that's a chain. And it looks like a butterfly. I don't know what this is. It's really creepy. on it okay it looks like an old doll made out of burlap yeah that's kind of weird <laughs> that's actually really weird so yeah that is a old burlap doll and it has a chain around it and I think it's silver I'm gonna take that off and take a closer look yeah I don't like that <laughs> it's like some Blair Witch stuff right here uh, well we'll see what we got well I'm not quite sure what to make of this <laughs> we got the creepy doll we got what appears to be a can of food of some kind and a pet bowl and it smells really bad so either somebody buried some pet food with a doll or this is a pet grave. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not going to dig any farther uh, for fear of what I might find. But uh, we're going to leave this one alone. I'll just bury it back up. Really odd. All right, next find. We got a pocket knife. Found a couple of these. They seem to be pretty common. This one looked at one time like it was actually pretty nice. I'll have to clean that up, take a look at it when I get home. Pretty cool. 
Okay, right at the tip of the plug. You can probably see it right there. I think I know, yep, that is a bullet. I don't know how old that is though. I'm not good at bullets, it has a ring on it. Is that old, new? I have no idea. I'll have to try to do a little research on it when I get back. But definitely a bullet. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a live dig here. In that, <laughs> I started to pull this out. It was ringing up an 8. I have no idea what it is. So we're going to find out together. You can see it poking out there. Uh, it's pretty big. Okay, well, at first glance, that's a big piece of iron, and it looks like some kind of cog. I thought it was a gun at first, I was getting kind of excited, but it looks like it's just a big piece of broken something, really strange. Anybody have any idea what that might be? Let me know in the comments. Okay, we got a little bit of a coin spill here. I'm down by the water and uh, dug up a dime and a quarter. And it looks like I got a day off the quarter, 1970. The dime is toasty. And I have no idea what that one says until I get it home and clean it up. I'm gonna keep hitting this spot though, because I don't know, I think I got a coin spill and these two are right next to each other. So I'm gonna keep looking. Yep, we got a coin spill. <laughs> two is good, three is better. There might even be four in there. So I'm getting a couple different tones from that hole. So I'm gonna keep digging that and we'll see what we get. Maybe it's silver. That would be nice. All right, we'll dig this one together. Man, there is, hold on. Uh. Yep, that's right, so we got something here. Oh, there it is. Oops. And modern penny. That's too bad. But I think there's probably more. So I'll hit this again real quick and, and we'll see. Last thing I found right next to the hole. Of course, hole tab, just round it out. We got a penny, a dime, a quarter, and a stinking pull tab. Oh well. So I've been out here for about three hours, uh, really tired. <laughs> Starting to get pretty muggy and hot. Um, and I found some really weird stuff today. Uh, that weird doll, just all kinds of crazy random coin spills. Uh, but I didn't expect this. <laughs> So for those of you that uh, may not know, somebody's growing marijuana. <laughs> we got one and two. Nice. I don't know if I should report it or not. Probably will. All right, taking a little break. Had to take a seat. It is too hot. I'm pretty much done. Uh, the more I looked around me and the uh, farther I went into the woods, in literally every single clearing, there were more marijuana plants. So I think all in all I counted maybe 10, 12 minimum. A few of them are dead. Um, so, you know, one or two, whatever, but that's a lot. And uh, so I ended up calling the police. <laughs> so I'm sitting here waiting for them now. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take for them to arrive, but I figured they should probably know. You know, there's a church, like, within eyesight of it. There's a school 
um, some apartments, just not a good place for any of that. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I'll probably be done uh, with the hunt as soon as the police come and I kind of show them where it's at. Actually, <laughs> I brought some bug spray from my car because they're going to need it for the mosquitoes uh, if they want to follow me back there. So I'll let you know what happens. Thanks again for watching guys. I hope to be out soon. Uh, I probably will come out maybe tomorrow morning. Um, not back here, but maybe just another park. You can actually still see the uh, officer parked right there, <laughs> filling out some paperwork after he got everything from me. Um, really, really strange dig. Creepy doll, pretty sure cat's grave, and uh, a marijuana grow operation. So you never know what you're gonna find. If you like the videos, let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. If there's some place you'd like me to hunt again, I would love to know. Um, until next time, keep digging.